to that to, this year jubilee jubilee year of jubilee 2017 hmm? this jubilee would uh, mean to, I want to tell you to be celebrated every 50 years you know that jubilee every 50 years Jewish celebrated jubilee eh? oh hallelujah <laughs> that miracle is about to happen to you to you this year jubilee year that we're going to celebrate God's festival not only the Jewish festival all Christian festival according to Leviticus 25 chapter it let me tell you the, the more the jubilee means it included the cancellation of debt you owe something money debt and free free freeing all slaves and returning to its original owners all land that had been sold hmm? according to Bible we count off seven sabbaths of years seven times seven years equals 49 years right and next that is going to jubilee hallelujah hmm? let's go back uh, the jubilee uh, uh, and 100 years ago 1917 jubilee what happened in jewish in, 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 for jewish people Balfour Declaration had made. Balfour Declaration. It was a very famous event that is the title given to an important policy on people in Palestine, now Israel now, by, by uh, the British Foreign Minister Balfour. He sent a letter to the, the, the head of a Zionist organization in a uh, during uh, first war. All right. Why, why, why is this is, is so important? 1917 years jubilee year, that this event led to the independence of Israel in 1948. It had triggered, triggered to make independence of the state of Israel that born, born state of Israel since, since they, since 2000 years. All right. I, Next Jubilee, as you remember, 1967, what happened? Six days war, 
broke out. Arab nation, which surrounded in, in, in Israel, had attacked this Israel. That a miracle had happened during this war we call Six Days War. God, Almighty God, God of Israel, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, God of you. It, 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 it delivered from the enemy of Arab countries in 1967, which is a jubilee year. Now, I want to tell you, this year, 2017, after 50 years, 1967, jubilee, double jubilee. Oh, hallelujah. That miracle is going to happen. I believe, I, I, I believe. Listen, this honey, this year, Jubilee, God's miracle in this Jubilee. I believe the embassy of America is going to move from Tel Aviv, which is the capital city now, to Jerusalem. Donald Trump, President of America, had bowed that embassy of United States in Israel is going to move to Jerusalem where all Jewish people had been long for the moving of moving of capital city. Yes, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. I believe it's going to happen soon after embassy will be moved, then I believe the capital city of Israel is going to move to Jerusalem from the Tel Aviv. It, that's a great miracle that is going to happen in Jubilee year. Oh, yeah. All right. And this year, Jubilee, as you Servant of God. I know you are faithful servant of my, my love. I am faithful servant. We are same. Faithful servant. We need to be armed with the faith that believes in the world and wait for the God's time, God's timetable that God going to reveal to you. Time of God that we are waiting now. To receive the Holy Spirit, we need to wait, holding on the word of God. You got this word. And we are waiting. And praying. Until we receive the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, pray the Lord, yeah, we got to wait. Hmm? This is a 
We, got, we have to wait until we receive the Holy Spirit. Then we got to do that God wants to do for you. This is today's core message that I'm going to tell you now. Listen, listen carefully. Before Jesus uh, ascended to heaven, he gave command to disciples. Lord said, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the Holy Spirit. My father promised, Acts 1, chapter 4 through the 5. Jesus was uh, eating with the uh, disciples, and he said, and he gave this commandment, John Baptist baptized with water. You will be baptized by Holy Spirit. Hmm? The weight. You will be baptized in a few days. Do not leave Jerusalem until Holy Spirit comes in. So the disciple held on his word, this word, they, they, they held this word, God, uh, Jesus Christ gave commandment when people he go to heaven. Hmm? And they prayed again and again. Finally, <clears throat> they receive the Holy Spirit in full. Hmm? They got the fullness of the Holy Spirit as Jesus Christ had promised them. Hallelujah. Same Holy Spirit you have now. It's working in you. Oh, thank you, Lord. This Spirit of God touch me, touch you, and it's working. The pray to give him glory. Hallelujah. Oh, I, oh, I feel strong. Holy Spirit touch me. Hallelujah. Give him glory. So my God never changed. He kept the promise. Hmm? We need to have a word of God. Yes. Firstly, we have to have this word. Come on. Coming on to you. We should do it. Hear the voice of the Lord through this word that talking to you. Hmm? And we honestly pray the holding on this World, keep going on, praying, praying until you got the answer.
from the God. With this word, we need honestly praying to the Lord. Hallelujah. Word brings us wonderful grace. This word, this word, I know. You love this word, the spiritual food. We got to eat every day. If we, we got to eat this word and pray with this word, thinking this word, you got wonderful grace. Miracle is going to happen. You can see. Hmm? The blood that Jesus shed The wet from the book of Genesis, chapter one to one, to the Revelation, in chapter twenty to twenty one. Huh? Whenever we read this word, oh my! This blood of Jesus prayed. On your heart, then it is our wound and the illness of the mind and the physical body, and brings wonderful grace, the blessing. You gotta believe that. And the miracle of the God to our lives. Therefore, we need to stand firm in the word. Word of God we love. Hallelujah. What is the background of the United States? This country becoming the greatest power of the, this world. Yeah. Greatest country in this world. No other country ever has been established like this country, America. I believe it is because they have stood on the world from the first to President George Washington, to the current President Donald Trump, they put the hands on the Bible in the event of Inauguration Day. Hmm? You know, the God is watching. When they swear, they do pray them to swear from the George Wells to Donald Trump, their hands put the Bible. Huh? God is watching. God, I believe God blessed this country because, because this country stood on the word of God who going to bless this country. When we stand on the word of God, God will pour out the Blessing upon us. Oh, my, my. Thank you, Lord. But we still have a problem. What is a problem? Let me tell you. The people, people, I'm talking to somebody, do not listen to the word of God. Their mind is closed. Their mind is closed. So people easily get 
affected, received wounds, they are hurt, and fall into despair by listening to other people's words. They listening what other people say. You are not other people are saying. Whatever they are saying, making criticism and making room about you, forget it. You are who you are what God is saying. When people listen to what others say, they just fall into despair. They got the temptation by the word people are saying. Therefore, we need to guard our heart and stand form on the word that enemy cannot come into your brain, which is your heart. We should pray to hear the God's voice, to make a decision and to obey His word. Hmm? We should pray not be agitated by the what other people say and the word of the world, but close our ears to words of the world. Do not listen. Do not listen. Do not focus on the in the voice from the world. Hmm? Uh, open our heart to receiving the God's word. You will be grateful. You will be faithful to the Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen. Oh, the Bible says, Psalm 40, chapter 1, I waited patiently, patiently for the Lord. He turned to me, to, to us and heard my cry. He will get to you. He hear you. Yes, you gotta believe. He's listening to your prayer. When you honestly pray to the Lord with holding the word of God which God gave to you, God is going to hear you God is listening your word and prayer. Finally, God is going to respond to your prayer. You will see. You will experience God's greatest blessing you will receive. Uh, you know, Jesus Christ, uh, a night before he was crucified, Jesus prayed honestly in Gethsemane. He prayed so, so honestly that Jesus' capillarity is the vein is the, is the of blood. Capillarity were broken. And the Bible says, he just sweat the word like a drop of blood. Hmm? I tell you another example. The, the prophet who the prayed honestly during the year of the king after those Israel, 
For the three and a half years the sky was closed and it did not rain. The soil was dry because of the solar heat and all the crops died. Dry land was dried. Nothing happened by the rain in heaven. There were no green living trees. Huh? At that time, Prophet Elijah slaughtered the you know the, the, what happened. Killed in the, the prophet of the Baal on the Asherah, on the mountain camel, and the honestly prayed for rain, for rain. Hmm? He, so, oh, that, that, that is a very good picture we have to, Learn what he had been prayed at that time. Prophet Elijah, he bent down his head, uh, you know, and between the two feet. They prayed, he, he prayed. Huh? He put his face down on the ground and honestly prayed for seven times, according to 1st King 18, chapter 42 to 43. After he prayed honestly, <coughs> Elijah asked his servant, huh? what do you see? His servant said, nothing in there. They prayed again, they asked again to his servant, what do you see now? The, they said, no, I don't see anything. So he prayed seven times. Oh my God. Finally, the servant reported. Bible say, Bible say, a crowd as small as a man's hand is rising from the, uh, you know, rising from the sea. God's answer had come. God responded. Prophet Elijah prayed when he always prayed seven times. He, he, he bent, bent down on the ground. Sky was open and the rain come down. We should hold on this the world and pray again, pray until we got the answer from the God which you ask. Your prayer tight. Hmm? It is God's time you will see. God's timetable you can see. When you pray honestly, door of the answer will open and the blessing will come upon us. Oh God, oh God, I have some, I, 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 I have some uh, 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 time. I can tell you uh, one more. Can I tell you one more the, in the example uh, in the uh, the widow, widow honestly prayed. According to Luke 18, 18 chapter 1 through the 8, and uh, yes, I, I, Jesus uh, told the parable to disciples uh, hmm? what, what the widow. We do, okay, I, I, I just, uh, this is better for you. I just, uh, I just read uh, the scripture. Then Jesus told the disciples the example to show them they should always pray and not give up. Hmm? He said, in a certain town there was a, you know, the judge who did afraid Noah, dear feared God, Noah afraid the man. Hmm? They, she, she doesn't care. The God, the man. But there was a widow who kept coming to this judge that she want to do something to plead to him, but she, he refused what she asked 
to him. But finally, this judge, unjust judge, had listened. Ah, uh, I gave up. I want to listen for you, free, because this was what he said. Even though I don't feel God or care what about man, you because this widow keeps bothering me. This widow <laughs> keeps bothering me. So I don't want to see no mother hurt. I want to listen to your plea. Jesus said, oh, Jesus said, listen. Listen to the, what the unjust says, and will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones like you, who cry out, cry out day and night to him, God. Will he keep putting them off? Will he keep putting them off? Jesus said. So we have to pray, pray honestly, after holding on the word of God, God hear you and answer your prayer title. You will see in your life like like unjust judge had listened with those plea. Jesus said as an example, we have to learn. We have to pray honestly and waiting waiting until God's time upon to you. That is very, very important. You should remember. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give him glory. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray. Don't forget. Bye-bye.